Hi friends, this is Gautam. I am from IMCA. First of all, I would be like to thank my senior lecturer Manjam Shavali sir giving this golden opportunity to me. And my topic name is Hadoop Technology. Introduction of Hadoop Technology. Hadoop Technology was developed by two greatest persons. Number one, Michael J. Kefrella. Number two, Dove Cutting. Our developers are Hadoop Technology shown in the display. Some of the basic contents of Hadoop Technology shown in the display. Hadoop Technology Introduction Hadoop is an Apache open source framework written in Java that allows distributed processing of large data sets across clusters of computers using simple programming models. The Hadoop Framework application works in an environment that provides distributed storage and computation across clusters of computers. Hadoop is designed to scale up machines, each offering local computation and storage. Hadoop ecosystem shown in the display. Hadoop architecture. Hadoop has a master slave architecture for data storage and distributed data processing using MapReduce and HDFL methods. There are four types. Number one, name node. Number two, data node. Number three, master node. Number four, slave node. Number one, name node means name node represented every files and directory which is used in the namespace. Number two, data node. Data node helps you to manage the state of an HDFS node and allows you to interact with the blocks. Number three, master node. The master node allows you to conduct parallel processing data using Hadoop map reduce. Number four, slave node. The slave node are the additional machines in the Hadoop cluster which allows you to store data to conduct complex calculations. Hadoop architecture shown in the display. What is Hadoop technology? The most well known technology used for big data is Hadoop. It is actually a large scale batch data processing system. Why Hadoop? Disturbed cluster system. Platform for massively scalable application. Enable parallel data processing. A number of multinational companies used Hadoop technology shown in the display. Hadoop Futures. Hadoop provides access to the file system. Hadoop Common Package contains necessary DAR files and scripts. Package provides source code, documentation, and contribution section that includes from the Hadoop community. There are two types scalability and fault tolerance. Number one, scalability. Hadoop cluster can easily be scaled to any extent by adding additional cluster nodes and this follows for the growth of big data also scaling does not require modifications to application logic number two fault tolerance means hadoop ecosystem 
has a provision to replicate the input data on to other cluster nodes that way in the event of a cluster node failure data processing can still proceed by using data stored on another cluster node core components of hadoop there are three types number 1 mapreduce number 2 hdfs number 3 yarn number 1 mapreduce means a software programming model for processing large sets of data in parallel hdfs hdfs means hadoop distributed file system a java based distribution file system that can store all kinds of data without prior organization number 3 yarn a resource management framework for scheduling and handling resource requests from distributed applications core components of hadoop architecture shown in the display what is hdfs the hadoop distributed file system is the primary data storage system used by hadoop applications it employs a name node and data node architecture to implement a distributed file system that provides high performance access to data across highly scalable hadoop clusters hdfs is a key part of many hadoop ecosystem technologies as it provides a reliable means for managing pools of big data and supporting related big data analytic applications hdfs architecture shown in the display hadoop cluster a hadoop cluster is a special type of computational cluster designed by specifically for storing and analyzing huge amounts of unstructured data in a distributed computing environment hadoop cluster architecture shown in the display hdfs name node high availability architecture hdfs name node high availability architecture provides the option of running two redundant name nodes in the same cluster in an active passive configuration with a hot standby number one active name node it handles all hdfs client operations in the hdfs cluster number two passive name node it is a standby name node it has similar data as active name node so whenever active name node fails passive name node will take all the responsibility of active node thus hdfs cluster continues to work issues in maintaining consistency in the hdfs high availability cluster are as follows shown in the display hdfs name node ha architecture shown in the display hdfs data node block server stores data in the file system periodic validation of check sums periodically sends a report of all existing blocks to the name node how do map reduce map reduce implementation number 1 job tracker splitting into map and reduce tasks scheduling tasks on a cluster mode number 2 task tracker runs map reduce task periodically map reduce means map reduce is a parallel programming model of writing distributed applications device at google for efficient processing of large amount of data on large clusters thousand of nodes of common duty hardware in a reliable manner the map reduce program runs hadoop which is an apache open source framework map reduce architecture shown in the display benefits of hadoop cost saving and efficient and reliable data processing 
provides an economically scalable solution storing and processing of large amount of data data grid operating system reference shown in the display finally conclusion of hadoop technology why commodity of hw because cheaper designer to tolerant faults why hdfs network bandwidth versus seek latency why map reduce programming model parallel programming large data sets moving computation to data single compute place data cluster Thank you to my senior lecturer Manjum Shavali sir thank you